So just gonna fit this hob today. It's quite straightforward. It's got the flex already on it. And then that's the original cooker socket that was already there. So we'll, we'll use that. And then the oven looks like the oven just plugs in. It's not, it's only about a two kilowatt oven. So it's pretty straightforward. But the interesting thing, the customer supplied one of these, I've not seen one before. So it's obviously, it's a 30 amp socket. And then it's got the cooker outlet as well on it. So obviously I've to mount a box on the back, a Patrick's box on the back. And um, and then I suppose you just put the hob into, into here and then the oven can just plug into the sockets. So this is what was there before, just a 30 amp socket. And so I just took it off. And the problem that I've got, is obviously I've got to mount this box. I'm going to mount it up in that corner, just over where the two holes are. Distance from the top of the oven, which is there, the socket's going to be roughly sat in there. And it's just going to be a bit awkward, I think, but hopefully it'll be okay for the for this to be sort of plugged into it somehow. It's going to be plugged in like that. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll take the hob out and I'll get the oven in and see how it is. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this wired up into here first, and then it's much easier to wire it up on the surface here and then mount it all in one go onto the back wall. Okay, so I've mounted this on here. I've clamped the back of the cable into the patches box so it's nice and secure. And then also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I bought the live on the right and the neutral on the left and hopefully the um, CPC in the middle because it lines up with the uh, screw terminals inside. It's nice and neat. I was going to mount the switch here, but this cable just runs straight across or sort of diagonally to the socket there. That will sort of mount on there nice and neatly and there'll be enough room to get the cooker in and plug it in as well. Box mounted on the wall. I'm a fan of using washers when I fix things on to the wall like that because you can get them nice and tight. You don't have to worry about cracking the um, boxes. I do find some of the patches boxes do crack quite easily. If you use washers, it works nicely. I'm not going to clip the cable. It's been clamped on there, so it's nice and strong in there. So I'll just leave the cable looped back like that. Hopefully the cooker will just plug in. The hob is nicely wired up into there and the clamp is nice and secure. The terminals fixed nice in there so now i can screw the box on i'll obviously plug the cooker in and then i can just sit the hob in nice and easily i'll get these screwed back in and then i can put the oven back plug it in and put the hob in okay so it's all back in the hob just fitted in there quite nicely and the oven is on 